All right, let's do this shit. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another video on my channel where we draw stuff. Okay, because this is a drawing channel, art channel, painting channel, digital art channel, illustration channel. Yeah, we do creative stuff here, and um, that's what we do. We also have really big, ugly pimples on our face, too. <laughs> I do apologize for that. Don't know where it came from, but it's a real pain in the ass. Anyway, today we're trying out a species generator. Um, so I think I saw a 10 hundred do this. You know, I specialize in, like, creatures, monsters, that kind of thing. Creature design is sort of what I'm known for in the, uh, dark corners of the internet. <laughs> you know, it's kind of what I do. But I thought it might be fun to try to follow a guideline to generate these creatures. Let's just go ahead and check this out. I'll leave the link to this below. Um, there are a couple of ads on the site that seem a little excessive as I look past my microphone here. Uh, we got type, we got form, we got size, we got class. I'm just gonna keep it all random and let's generate. Alright, well, psh, this is very detailed. Um, a hybrid bipedal invertebrate with a hammerhead head, head head, and long antenna, two human eyes, and a bottlenose dolphin-like snout. It has two long rodent arms that end in pincers. It has a curvaceous thorax with a high waist and enormous, a large prism-shaped abdomen. That's a weird typo. <laughs> A large prism shaped abdomen. It also has six elongated bat wings. It has two elongated thick legs. The Omkix body is covered in thick chitin? The f is chitin? A, fi a fibrous substance consisting of polysaccharides and forming the major constituent in the exoskeleton of anthropods in the cell walls of fungi. Uh, okay. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna have to do some more research on that because I don't know what the f I just read. <laughs> uh, it has the markings of a raccoon in dark green, mottled brown and dark purple. That's a lot of information. I'm gonna have to like sketch these out before I go ahead and draw them. Average height, 5 feet, 1.5 meters. Okay, so, you know, short boy. <laughs> Ain't getting any dates out here, I'll tell you what. Average lifespan, 10 months. That's pretty. Maturity, 5 months. Breeding age, 2 months. Number of young, 72 eggs shortly before death. Uh, population common. Temperament, unafraid. Diet, seeds, roots, trees, and nuts. Oh, so it's a vegetarian, okay. Family life. The Omkik is left to fend for itself at birth. They have an affinity for shiny objects. Okay, I like shiny things too. Alright, well, this is gonna take a while to uh, figure out. Um, I'm gonna cut here, do some sketches, some voiceover, and then we're gonna go into the finished artwork and we'll do like two more. Thank you. 
Okay guys, so that was the arm kick. Let's go ahead and generate round two here. Um, and let's see, uh, let's see what we can come up with. Maybe, uh, maybe something more terrifying than this pimple on my face. <laughs> Ugh. Every time I look in the mirror, I just look at him like, why are you here? You don't belong here. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully those will be gone by my next video. Anyway, let's generate. What we got? What do we got? We got coffee. I hear caffeine is probably causal to some acne, but I don't know. I kind of depend on it. Anyway, <laughs> we got the long ox. All right. Is it an ox that's long? Hmm. So we got a very large, unique, bipedal, aquatic creature with a knobbly head. Knobbly. Knobbly. Nabel. Adjective. Having lumps which give a misshapen appearance. No eyes, short ears, no visible nose, and a pointed snout. It has a rigid neck, its shoulders are spike-tipped, and it has two stumpy, weak arms. It has a fat, lumpy torso. It has two delicate legs and no tail. The long box, not long box, long ox's body is covered in a tough exoskeleton. It has the markings of a zebra in mousy brown and dull blue. Okay, well that's, uh, that one seems a little bit easier than the last one. Average height, 13 feet. That's a tall boy. Average lifespan, 2 years. Maturity, 6 months. Breeding age, 13 months. Number of young... 135 eggs every seven months. Wow, that's a lot of kids. Population common? Well, I mean, of course, you're laying 135 eggs. <laughs> Temperament curious. Curious. Scurrilous and deplorable. <laughs> Trees, shrubs, fruits, and grubs are uh, the diet. So not quite a vegetarian, but... So, breeding pairs mate for life. Aw, that's cute. If their partner dies, they will never mate again. Aw. Competition for mates is very mild. Well, that's very different uh, from humans. But the long ox family group is large, has a strong bond, and is led by the father. Young females leave to join new families when they are of breeding age, though some will remain and help the family. Child rearing is largely handled by their father. General, their sense of touch is very weak. That's weird. I wonder what it's like to have a weird, a gentle sense of touch. Like, you don't feel things as much. Is that a thing? Do people not have senses of touch? I gotta Google that, because I feel like that's like the five basic senses that like everybody has that one at least. They can easily adapt to environmental changes, they communicate using groans and honks, they are incapable of moving silently, uh, they are a parasitic species that leeches off another. Okay, well that's a twist. What a twist. So that's the uh, long ox. And that's coffee. You like that? Some lip smacking ASMR? Yeah, okay. So uh let's uh let's uh transition into that segment and we'll uh have fun with it. Oh I I, I didn't
Alright guys, so that was the long ox. That was fun. Let's go ahead and generate the next one. We got the Johnner. Hey, that's my name. My name is John. R. Actually, my middle initial is R. So, wow, that's a little creepy. Or the Jonor. Or Jonor. I don't know. Maybe it's French. I don't know. A tiny hybrid hexapedal. Amphibian with a triangular head. Rabbit ears. No visible nose. And a short snout. It has a giraffe neck. But wait, it's tiny. How does it have a giraffe neck? <laughs> It has a giraffe neck and its shoulders are pronounced. It has a thin torso. It has six short stork legs that end in webbed feet and no tail. The genoes. I feel like it's French. Genoes. The genoes. body is covered in thick slime while its legs are covered in gelatinous skin. It has the markings of a badger in dark purple and light gray. Average height 9 inches. Average lifespan 18 years. Maturity 4 years. Breeding age 4 years. Number of young 32 every month. Wow. Population excessive. You don't say. Is that even possible? I, I guess the gestation period is different. <laughs> Temperament disdainful. Diet. Seafood, crustaceans, and blood. Oh wow, this is, I wouldn't want to live in a world with these things. These tiny bugs that eat blood. Just blood in general? Imagine just getting covered in a ton of these genres that would just suck you dry. Alright, the jeuneur males is notoriously picky when choosing a mate. The young jeuneur, jeuneur, ooh, we will smoke my cigarette. <laughs> oh boy, I'm gonna get cancelled for that joke. I don't know, I feel like French people are just always smoking. I don't know, I've never been to France, I'm sure France is cool. I think in my last video I reviewed a French artist book. France is cool, it's just, I feel like, as an American, I perceive France as just like a bunch of people people chain smoking and eating smelly foods. <laughs> it's like, oh, you fucking Americans, huh? You come to my fucking country. It's like Middle East. <laughs> <clears throat> I don't mean to offend or insult any particular group of people. I mean to offend and insult every group of people. So, uh, you know, if you haven't been insulted yet, stay tuned. <sighs> I'm losing it, guys. The young Jeanne males normally leave their family and live alone when they are mature. Okay. They have excellent night vision. They can run at 4 miles per hour, or 6.4 kilometers per hour if you're, uh, not American. I don't know what that is. I don't know what a kilometer is. Every time somebody says kilometer or meter, I'm like, American, please, say that in American. <laughs> without, tr without tiring for up to 30 minutes. 4 miles per hour for 30 minutes straight? Damn. And adapt very quickly to environmental changes. They communicate using chirps and clicks. Males are generally larger. Okay. Well, the Junior sounds actually terrifying. Because it's French. No, <laughs> no it sounds pretty creepy. Um, I don't know. This, uh, this might be fun. This might be fun and this one might be torture. Anyway, let's get into it. Clap, clap. <laughs> I don't know why, but every time I record a video, by the end of it, I go f***ing insane. <laughs> um, yeah, so, that's that. With this goddamn camera focus. That's that. This is this. Let's go. Okay.
right, y'all, before I run the quick little slideshow, I just want to let you all know that there is a Patreon that you can subscribe to. It helps me out a ton for two bucks a month. You get exclusive content, all that kind of stuff, downloads, desktop backgrounds, and a discount on my store, which is also linked below, where you can purchase my artwork, and I will send it directly to your face hole, okay? <laughs> I will address it to face hole, okay? That's what's going to say on the package. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you put that in, I'll definitely write that on there. It's fine. Anyway, yeah. So uh, I got a store. I got a Patreon. I got all these socials. Check them out below. All right. Thank you for watching. This has been John tries to use a creature generator and probably fails. So yeah. Um, I love you all, and I'll see you sooner than later. Okay. Bye. Bye.